right, I'm gonna show you guys how to solve a common problem that I see a lot with these uh, 2004, 2006 Cadillac CTS. So, let me show you guys what's going on. This is for the anti-lock, for the bypass, whatever you want to call it. Let me show you guys what it's doing. And then putting the key in. Nothing. This might help a couple of you guys. If you guys have that problem, it's not letting the car start, it's not letting it move, nothing. So the correct way to do it, there's actually two ways. So on the fuse box itself, in front of the car, if you look to the bottom right, there's that purple wire. All you gotta do is put a wire from there, um, preferably a 14 gauge, run it from there to this bad boy right there. With the key and the ignition turned all the way like if you're about to start it. That should start your car, say if you're, like, you're stuck anywhere or anything like that. But a way to reset the computer, it's from right here. So wherever you see this little empty one, count eight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this first number 15, with the key on, door open, Take this fuse out at least two to four times, off and on, off and on, off and on. And then put it back, turn the key off, wait 10 seconds, turn it back on. And for some of you guys, this might work. But I think the problem with this one is the computer. Customer just got it replaced not that long ago. I think they replaced it with a used one, judging on the condition of the computer itself. So we're gonna have to probably get them a rebuilt one, which I'd rather get a rebuilt one than a used one, because then you run into the same problems. But yeah, I hope this really helps a lot of you guys. I know it's a pain having to take it to the dealer. Uh, a lot of customers of mine, they don't take their cars to the dealer anymore. Because the dealer would definitely, definitely overcharge you. We're here to help people not to overcharge them. Same thing happened with this Chevy. I'm changing the motor on it. But we got that fixed. That was just a reset on the ECM. It was all good after that. Doing a 5.3 swap on this. It came with a 4.3 V6. We're putting a 5.3 V8 in it, in it. I'll go ahead and post some more videos of that. Motor gets here Tuesday. Install same day. Have it running probably next day. I'll post a video of that so you guys can see what's going on. Thanks for watching.